Hello everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip at 45 Drives. So this week we are continuing on on our intro of the Stornator X, the next revolution of the Stornator storage pod. Um, last week we talked about our new PCB backplanes, our direct wire backplanes. Uh, got a lot of good comments and everything. Uh, particularly someone asked where we got them manufactured and built and I guess I didn't really mention that part. Uh, so we did all the engineering, testing, design work in-house. Uh, the whole team worked on it, but want to give a big shout out to a colleague of mine, Joshua Boudreau. And um, we've got the, the boards kind of prototyped at different kind of shops around the world. And we got the full uh, production run of our boards done at PCB Cart. Very impressed with their service, quality, turnaround time, everything about them. So if you're in the business of building uh, production ready PCB boards, check them out. Great. Um, anyway, moving on, uh, this week we're going to talk about kind of the next big feature that is new in the Stornator X storage pods. Um, if you can remember about two videos ago when I did kind of the f overall intro, I, I said we were focusing on serviceability and user feel, which were two big areas we wanted to improve. So the PCB backplane is kind of how we address that electronically and cleaned up some of the wires. But um, the more mechanical side of things, uh, what we chose to do was our new modular drive cages. So this week, this is what I'm going to be talking about. Okay, so the main design decisions on this is we had two criteria to hit. Improve the serviceability and improve the user feel of the drives in the drive bay. So the previous model used uh, two solid pieces of metal and for the grid system, this was our anti-vibration, our drive mounting, all that rolled into one. But what they were, were a, a piece of metal on top, piece of metal at the bottom, they fit the drive snugly, that was all great. However, if you did have to work on something underneath or anything like that, you would have to remove, well, maybe 15, not a big deal, but if it's 60, it would get annoying. You have to remove all the hard drives, take both out, fix a bunch of the issues, uh, if there was any, and put it all back together. So what we chose to do with this drive, modular drive cage as you just saw me pull it out of the server there it's that simple if you need to get at one of the back planes underneath you just remove the drives from that row and remove that whole drive cage so let's take a look at it um, first of all it's just kind of cool to look at it's it's a nice little modular grid it's not a big long something anymore so immediately on it you can see your labels that's how we identify where the drives are in the system um, and the drive guides on the back is kind of where we come from for user feel. It's easier to get the drive started and finished all in one. You don't have to kind of find the connector. Um, we got these parts 3D printed. Actually, shout out to Protocase, our uh, sister company there. Uh, they now have a 3D printed uh, service offering and we were uh, quick to jump onto that for some of our designs. So it pays to have a manufacturing fab shop in your backyard. So um, that's uh, that's the drive cage. Modular, easy to take out, easy to install. Let's slip it right in there. So that's it everyone. That is a quick little overview of all the new features and fun stuff with the new Storinator X model. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just want to say you can buy, quote, and build these things now on our website. Check out 45drives.com. Um, or uh, give, give us a ring, an account manager will walk you through uh, uh, getting your hands on one of our new Stornators and uh, hope you enjoyed this. Can't wait to see everyone using these things and uh, catch you all next week.